21 minutes to six. And as it's Friday, you know what that means. It is time, of course, to speak to the man in the know about movies. It is Van Connor. He is a movie critic. He comes on the show every Friday to talk about the new movies out this weekend uh, and whether they are worth going to see. So welcome back to the show, Van. How are you? I'm I'm great, Mr. Bull. Do you know I got I got to see a movie that I'm going to talk to you in about in a, in a, in a little while that I had an absolute ride with this week, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, to to you about one in the meanwhile uh, that's kind of like a contemporary but still retro throwback take on The Ring. If you remember that, do you remember the English language remake of The Ring from like 20 years ago? My goodness, yes, I do. Really vaguely though. Yeah. Okay. So same kind of concept, but uh, have you ever heard about the, uh, the the Max Headroom signal hijacking in the in the late 80s, where someone cut into the actual public TV feed in Chicago and they had like a, a, a Max Headroom mask on and they started spurring nonsense and anti-corporate messages no. and things. This is like that, but the ring. So the idea is you've got like a 1991 or so archivist played by Harry Shum Jr. Spoiler alert, Mike Chang in Glee. I spent the whole movie trying to work out who he was. And uh, he's the, the video archivist who comes across this this signal hijacking and starts to look into the darker mysteries behind it. It's a little bit The Ring, it's a little bit De Palma, it's a little bit Pakula's uh, A Paranoia Trilogy, it's even a little bit 8mm at times. You remember that uh, that Nicolas Cage movie from the late 90s, yes. 8mm? That was, that was great, wasn't it? Proper 80s um, movie, that. Yeah, that's that kind of thing. He, he starts investigating into this mystery, even though he's warned that it could very, very much lead to his own demise in the process. I've got a clip for you. You weren't lying. You said there's more like this? Uh, there are three in total. I'm on an exhaustive search for the third. Need any help? Thanks. But I prefer to work alone. What do the numbers mean? <sighs> what numbers? Seven digits. I guess that's a phone number? Trust me. Their phone number's on the tape. I would have seen it. Did you hear it? Wow, he sounds like a bunch of fun. <laughs> well, this is the thing. The, the movie works. It's quite overwrought, but it's overwrought in that kind of way that an old De Palma kind of thriller is. It, I mean, like 80s era, peak De Palma. This is like an old school investigative thriller, but it will kind of appeal to audiences of, if there are if there is such a thing as a younger audience of the 2002 English language remake of, of The Ring, by you know, with Naomi Watts and, and by Gore Verbinski. Um, it's out this weekend. Uh, I think it's out on digital as well. It's it's good. It's pretty good. It gets there. It's 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 quite effective. It does it does reel you in and hook you. By the end of this, it winds up feeling like Prisoners meets Video Drum. I'm all for it. And Harry Shum Jr. very very good in it. I think he's well, great. The synopsis you've given it is the kind of film. Well, you know me well enough to know that's the kind yeah, of film no, I would I get into. Yeah, you do. You really do. Um, so good. Okay. And if we want to watch that, it's out now. Did you say? Sorry. That's out. That's out as of today. As is our next movie. Now, now strap yourself in, Mr. Ball. Okay. Because this one's a ride. Okay. Michael Bay has done a car chase movie. This is not a drill. Wow. Okay. The director of Bad Boys, The Rock, Armageddon, Pearl Harbor, Bad Boys, any hyperkinetic action movie pre-John Wick that we seem to actually remember the name of, not John Wick or The Matrix. Uh, he's back and he's doing a car chase movie. Go on. From what you've just said then and the list of movies you just listed, I'm expecting yeah. very big things from this. Okay, so you've got um, a, 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 an American war veteran played by Yaya Abdul Mateen II from I kept the Candyman reboot and, and Aquaman, and he's a down on his luck veteran who's trying to raise two hundred thirty-one thousand dollars that he requires for his wife's out of insurance cancer treatment. Oh. They also have a newborn baby at home because this is a Michael Bay movie, and they really like to sell you on the on the drama in case you're not subtle enough to pick things up. And uh, so he he goes to his his sort of wayward criminal adopted brother played by. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and asks him for help with a loan. Jake Gyllenhaal says, no, but I can do you one better. As it turns out, I've got this 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 bank heist, this in and out bank heist that I've just happened to plan to be doing in 10 minutes time. And by complete coincidence, I'm one man down. You're militarily <laughs> trained. Why don't you pop along and join us? So we get the whole you know wannabe point break, but then it all goes wrong as these things happen to do. This, by the way, is all a remake of a 2005 Danish movie called, called Ambulance. Um, it all goes wrong and they take shelter in 
a nearby ambulance where a paramedic is working on a wounded policeman who's fighting for his life and they wind up in a high speed chase across Los Angeles with the greatest bank bounty the city has ever known. I've got a clip for you to set the over the top wildly energetic tone you would expect from Michael Bay doing a car chase movie. What can I do you for, officer? We're just doing a transfer in the back. I'll let uh, you in in 20 minutes. Uh, if I could just get it done real quick, because I'm on the clock, promise not to rob the place. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, because that would be bad for my job. Okay. <laughs> I promise. All right, okay. All right, all okay, right come all on. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go, D. You are all going to have the greatest story to tell at dinner tonight. Get out! Don't shoot a cop! Go, 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 go! Lock everything down. Nothing gets out. <laughs> Well, you've you've tempted me. I want to see both of these movies. That sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, it, I mean, don't get me wrong. Check your brain at the door. But then again, you should know that because it's Michael Bay does a car chase yeah. movie. Um, my friend Sarah Phelan summed this up perfectly by saying an unhinged Gyllenhaal is great Gyllenhaal. And that's very much true here. He is in full madcap end of watch nightcrawler mode at times here. Bags of fun, loads of car stunts, and some incredible use of drone footage, actually. This is about as good a Bay movie as The Island was. Like, you can put aside the front franchise, the branded sort of stuff that he does, Bad Boys 2 sequels, things like that. Yeah. Uh, the Transformers movie, obviously. This is kind of about the level of The Island, if you remember that, with Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. This is that level of Michael Bay. Um, I, think it's, I think it's a good ride. It's a bit over long at 2 hours 15, but it's, it's a ride that does surprisingly hold up for that amount of time. Also, Michael Bay has now evidently reached the level at which he can reference his own movies twice within 60 seconds of his new one. <laughs> that is a genuine thing that happens. He's here. hit a new level then. That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> That's so clever. Um, and where can we see this? This is cinemas only, isn't it? So this is cinemas only. Ambulance are out from today. So Jake Gyllenhaal, Yaya the II, and uh, Isaac Gonzalez, who's great in this, as well as the paramedic, who goes, who's a Long for the ride, like it or not. Oh, amazing. All right. Well, thank you very much for those two good ones this week. And uh, we'll catch you next Friday. Have a lovely weekend, fella. Till the next time, good sir. Till the next time.